Okay, so here's a really quick tutorial on a pressure tank T. I did a bunch of research online and there's um, really everything is like out there to sell you a, either the components or a pre-assembled T or something along those lines. So I did a ton of research, I spent a bunch of money, bought all the wrong stuff. So I'm just going to show kind of my setup and some alternative potential setups. So this is designed to work with PEX, um, hence these two end pieces, these are one inch. Um, what I've got here is my backflow preventer um, that's coming into the PEX. So I'm going to actually have a pump here that pushes in into the backflow preventer. Um, I've got my relief pressure relief valve here. Um, I've closed off this piece here and then I actually bought the wrong two sizes so I have to go back to the store. But down here is going to be a three quarter inch hose bib and up here is going to be a one quarter inch pressure gauge. And most of them are one quarter inch anyway. So once I Teflon those two pieces in, I'll have my hose bib so I could drain the, the uh, pressure tank if I need to. And then, of course, I'll have a pressure gauge here. And then this is the out again to work with PEX. Um, I want to point out something I didn't find out until I actually purchased one of these. Um, so these are um, uh, one inch, um, but they're also threaded inside for a male threaded three quarter inch. So if you didn't want to do something as big as this, for instance, my pump and most of the pumps are half inch. So I'm going from half inch to three quarter to one inch and then back down. I don't know what that's going to do to the pressure um, that the tank and the pump will allow for. But frankly, I, I'm only running a couple of um, plumbing components off of this. I'm not running a full house. There's really um, just under 200 square feet. So so we'll find out. And I have to if I have to redo it, I will. And I'll and I'll buy the three quarter male threaded to go into the T itself. Uh, and then run three quarter out, but we'll we'll see since I already have the parts what that will do um, But anyway, there's a lot of confusion online about how these work. So I wanted to kind of point it out um, You'll also see pressure gauges on uh, a lot of these most of the pumps that I found have their own They know when the pressure needs to kick on or off their dry start They're all about a hundred or, or under a hundred bucks depending on the brand you get um, and where you get them, but um, but essentially, you know, you, you really don't have to put that big pressure gauge component on there if you don't need it, uh, or if you don't have a pump that requires it, and I'm sure your pump will tell you. Uh, anyway, so pump here, one inch, uh, again, into the backflow preventer. Um, I've blocked off this one quarter inch threaded piece. This is my 75 pound pressure release, which is a three quarter inch threaded male that goes into here again i'm i've got to run to the store and get the right sizes but this is three quarter inch male this is going to be a hose bib and this is going to be a one quarter inch pressure gauge and then this is my out and of course this connects into the pump so there you have it that's my three minute explanation